Hello guys, my name is Dennis Lara and welcome to my art channel Dennis Lara Art. Today's topic is very interesting. Our today's topic is basically about negative and positive side. And we can actually say it as positive and negative spaces with doodles. So in this topic and what we are going to do, let us see. First thing first, if you just see this, this can you let me know what it exactly means? You can just say this bottle is half full or this bottle is half empty. It depends on your perception. Now, let's see this aside. This is an example of yin and yang. Yin and yang uses both the concepts, positive and negative. When it combines, there is something negative in a positive person or a positive in negative person. That is yin and yang. Now, our art work for today is also in that similar kind. We are going to use a positive and negative format. And how are we going to do that? Let's see. As I spoke to you about the negative and positive side, that means we have to make two parts. So, we are going to divide this page into two parts and then go ahead with one character. For here, I am going to draw or sketch a character of a bird. Okay, so let's begin. So as you saw, I divided two, two sides of the page. Now what we are going to do, we are going to do sketch the bird and uh, it's like a mirror image. So if I'm doing a bird facing this way, the mirror image should be facing this way. So we are going to do that. So let's see how it looks ahead. Now as you see, now I have made the mirror image of the bird. Now, as I spoke about yin and yang, I spoke about a negative and positive. The positive is basically full of colors or full of brightness and the negative is full of darkness. So now what are we going to do is we will make a bright thing in a negative part, like a negative in a positive part and a positive in a negative part. So what are we going to do is this whole side or the left side, we are going to color it black and we will leave this place empty and here we will do the opposite. We will do this image black and leave the background empty okay so let's go ahead let's see how it goes As you see, now I have done with my painting work. If you have a crayons, you can use that. If you don't have paints, you can you still use other, other mediums. Now, what we have to do left. What is left to do is simple. This white portion, we are all going to fill it with designs, doodling and all kind of stuff. Okay? And let's see how it goes on. Let's begin. If you are not good at doodling or if you are just uh, thinking of like directly, I won't be using sketch pen or marker. Then you can use pencil. Pencils first, you can just draw, doodle and everything. Then later on, you can use a marker or a sketch pen to outline it. And then you can go in, you can go ahead erasing the whole thing and you'll get a fresh one. But here, I'm going to use directly pen, sketch pen and marker. 